surrounding that lost clause. Never a man speak like Jesus. And I want us to speak today on nobody like Jesus. No man like him. Speak to us today, Almighty God. Open our hearts, our minds to receive of you. We recognize, Lord, that wisdom, understanding, prudence coming from thee. So even now we pray that you grant clarity of thoughts, that your words will go forth in a, with a clear and sound and certain sound, that the hearts of your people will be prepared to receive of you. Let your will be done, that the honor, the glory, and the praise redound to your name. Everybody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. God bless you. May be seated. Come, Kevin. Come, Sherry. How I'd like to tell you what I think of Jesus Since I found in him A friend so kind and true I could tell you How he changed my life completely He has done what no other friend can do no one ever cared for me like Jesus there's no other friend so kind as he no one else could take the sin and darkness from me. Oh, how much he cares for me. I would like to tell you what I think of Jesus. Since I found in him a friend so kind and free, I could tell you how he changed my life completely. He did what no other friend could do. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other friend. There's no other friend so kind as He. No other like Jesus. No. Goodness from me, how oh, much, oh, how much he, cares. he cares for me. No one ever, no one ever Yes. He cares. He cares. Oh, for me. I never 
Anybody know this one? Oh yes, he cares. Oh yes, he cares. I know. Oh, I know. He cares. His heart. His heart. Is touched. Is touched with my grief. those who came in after the greeting God bless you God bless you Amen History records the feats of many great men who have walked the planet earth and has left as it were footprints on the sands of time speaks of great philosophers such as Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, whose works are still highly esteemed in our centers of learning today. Aristotle one of the greatest philosopher of all times. Hallelujah. He caught on this wise. It is a mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, we are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence then is not an act, but it is a habit. Yes. Hallelujah. I remember when I was growing up, they said, you take off the age, you still have a bit. You take off the A, you still have bit. You take off the B, you still have it. Hallelujah. Habits are formed sometimes easily, but it is hard to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We read of great generals like Alexander the great who as a young man was taught by Aristotle the great philosopher and by the age of 33 this, uh, this general would have already conquered the entire known world then uh, it is said of 
Alexander the Great, that after he conquered every city, after he conquered every country, and he could not find anybody or anywhere else to conquer, he became so confused in himself and drank himself to death because he didn't have anything else to do. Hallelujah. Ah, closer to us we read of men like Winston Churchill. Hallelujah. Who in the face of Nazi aggression, he rallied the troop of England and he declared we shall defend our highlands. Whatever the cost may be, we shall fight on the we shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the street. We shall fight in the field. We shall fight in the hills. And we shall never surrender. And when he was true, stirring up the group, even though the Germans had more guns and bombs and artillery, England defeated them because there was somebody who said we will never give up we are going to fight hallelujah hallelujah but despite the greatness of these individuals they all died we refer to their works but they are no longer here so great men comes and great men go but I like to introduce to you today uh, a man of all men, uh, a figure of history uh, that is incomparable, uh, and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah! I stand here today to tell somebody there's never been another man like Jesus. From the time of his conception, the Bible said in Matthew 1 verse 18, the birth of Jesus was on this wise when as his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. From the conception, he was different. He was not a child of a human being, but he was a son of the living God. Hallelujah. He walks this earth, and while he grew up, he was different. None could not be compared with him at the age of 12. They found him in the temple. He was reasoning. He was arguing with the doctors and with the lawyers. And they marveled at his wisdom. For he is the wonderful in wisdom. The one by whom all things were made. There is nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so, Jesus, yes, he walked the earth. Yes, he died. Because history recorded. The Bible tells it. But on the third day, hallelujah, up from the grave, he arose with a mighty victory. Uh, victory uh, always for uh, that had no dominion uh, had no more dominion uh, over him uh, because in that he died uh, he died unto sin once uh, but now he lives uh, for eternity uh, Jesus uh, hallelujah uh, if you check for Churchill uh, you'll find this tomb uh, they know the site uh, where place to an Aristotle is our uh, God Almighty uh, but when you go to the tomb of Jesus uh, it's empty uh, he is alive uh, you ask me how uh, I know he lives uh, he lives uh, within uh, my heart 
nobody and never a man like Jesus hallelujah and so when they sent for him that they should capture him to kill him when they when the police officers came into the room where Jesus was speaking when they heard him speak they returned they moved from where they were they went back to the Pharisees who sent him and told him never a man spoke like this man and I came to tell somebody today he's alive and he is well and the scripture declare he's the same God he's the same yesterday today and forever none will be able to be compared with him 2,000 years ago and there are still none that can be compared with him today he's the incomparable Christ he's one of a kind he's the, of the only kind hallelujah and so we came to declare him today hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. This same Jesus, he is a transformer of the human mind. You see, there's something about Plato, something about Aristotle. They try to change you according to your environment, but Jesus transforms you and fit you in the environment. Oh God Almighty, the Bible tells me that he was strumming and he decided I'm going to go through Samaria. When he was going through Samaria, he sent away his disciples because they had problem with the people in Samaria. But the Bible said it was needful that he goes through Samaria and the Bible said when he came to Samaria he sit on the well at Sychar one of the well one of the wells that Jacob built and the Bible said it was midday and while he was sitting here came a lady to draw water from the well and she she was a Samaritan and Jesus said unto her give 